Hello again everybody, so back at my favourite permission, absolutely love this place, slightly different spot to where I was last time. So today's shooting area is all down this, this side in here, so we've got the railway embankment there, the living in there, this bit of woodland, there's a little bit of a drainage channel there, so they're hopping over the drainage channel grazing in this field. I think there's some there actually, yeah. There's one. So the furthest shot this side looking at about 150 yards there about. Shouldn't be a problem today for, for the rifle I've got which is the 223 again. So I've set up this shooting hide again. Just uh, very simple. A bit of camo netting, some shooting poles for the uh, netting to hang on to. Very, very simple, perfect bit of a raised banking for me to lay down on. Couldn't ask for better, really. So, if I spin round, although I haven't got any camo netting at this side, I can quickly spin the rifle round to this side, probably lay down here, put the gun through that mesh in, and then I've got a clear shot up there. Furthest, furthest shot there, about 255 yards. I probably won't take a shot as far as that because I still haven't done any proper drop testing for the uh, ballistics on this on this round. But if there's anything close enough, I might I might go for it. But I've also got some targets with me as well, so I am going to drop drop them down and go for. A bit of load development testing and see just exactly how far I need to adjust my scope so uh, so in the future I should be able to get nice clean accurate shots out to extended range on this particular part right okay I'm away There's a crow having a free meal on me. <laughs> Conservation is me, you know. Giving food away and stuff. So that's 150 yards thereabouts. So 
So this is my view from the furthest rabbit, which is this headless fella. I'll get to him in a minute. So it's 150 yards at this particular uh, position I'm at. I'm going to move around to the other side of the, the railway line now, but you can see... Yeah. Quite concealed, that actually. I know it's just thrown together, but very effective. Really happy with that. So I'll zoom back. So that's 150 yards, 150. So now I'll show you the rabbits. These were all around 150. So you can see that guy. That was an absolutely devastating headshot. No head left, absolutely gone. So, we'll go to the next one. This one here. I don't think it was a gut shot. I think it's uh, gone in its back or something like that and just pulled everything out the front. But that's quite a big rabbit and that's just absolutely destroyed. Next one, this one here, this fella, so you can see, complete polar opposite, virtually no damage whatsoever, and that is what match bullets do, they either completely fuck up whatever they hit, like them other two, or you can barely see they've been hit. So then guys, I've had five shots, five kills at my uh, current location. Now I've spun the camera around to show you this other part. Now there's quite a lot of rabbits up there, probably stretching out to about 200 yards. Easy capable of getting them, but problem is that backstop is not fantastic and that is down onto the railway embankment so you're a braver man than me if you're going to shoot into that without a perfect backstop now if these rabbits come down the field a little bit I'd get them but I don't want a stray bullet potentially going through the woodland or possibly going straight through the front of a sodding train you know what I mean so I'm going to leave them guys alone for now I think I'm going to have a relocate to the other side of the uh, property. The other side of the railway line there's some fields there and I've had a lot of success there before so I think I'm going to do that. So I'll just zoom out show you how far away these these little guys are. It is quite a good stretch. I think it's hard for you to visualise how far 200 yards is unless I do it off the camera like this. So this premise is littered with these I think they're Egyptian geese, I'm going to have a look. Um, they'd really like rid of them, but I don't think it's legal to shoot them. So I'll have a look into it, I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, obviously I won't do it if it's not legal, but they do cause a hell of a mess, uh, apparently. Just uh, crapping everywhere and stuff. And Yeah, the permission owner would really love them gone. <laughs> Well, there's my two other rabbits I just got at my second location. 
Somebody got to him before me and chucked him over the hedge. So I'm not going to clamber in there and get him. But, uh, yeah. You can tell from here that they are quite a mess. So, uh, I won't go climbing in. So that's a total of seven for the day. Happy with that. Good, uh, good result. Nice few hours out. That'll do me. See you later fellas, hopefully you enjoy the video, bye. So just as a side note on this fellas, I've been um, struggling getting a zero on the tripod with my 17 HMR so I took the opportunity today whilst I was out in the field, I brought it along and I did this. So, so this is 50 yards, that's what I had on the zero for the tripod, obviously a load of shit, I miss loads of... Uh, loads of easy rabbits because of that because I was lazy before and didn't do it properly so re-zeroed it and that's what I got so these are all off the tripod 50 yards you know what that's bloody sub MOA is that off a tripod that's pretty fucking good is that right see you after